Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in this video I'm going to give you a quick look at the new features of Lightroom Classic version 9 which was just released today. So let me dive right in and uh, show you what's new. One of the first new features is the ability to fill in edges when merging a panorama. So let me just show you what that means. So. I'm going to select some images here that I have, which I shot as a panorama, and I'm going to go to Photo Merge Panorama. So this is what you're normally used to when you go to merge a panorama, and you see you've got all this white space around the edges. Well, with this new Fill Edges option, it uses the Content Aware Fill technology to fill in the edges. So as you can see, this pretty much works fairly well for the most part. There's a few little things like down the bottom here, we have this kind of weird thing going on with a bit of cloning, but you can easily fix that afterwards with the clone and stamp tool, or you could crop it out. But uh, I mean, if you look closely up here, you see there's a bit of funkiness going on as well. But for the most part, it works fairly well, um, particularly for filling in skies. So I, all I have to do now is hit merge and that will merge away in the background. Okay, and here is our finished panorama. Okay, so the next new feature is you now have the ability to export to multiple presets simultaneously. So it's actually fairly straightforward to use. So you just select the images you want to export. So I'll just pick a few here. And you can now go File, Export. And you'll see in the Export window, you now have little checkboxes beside your presets. So you can just check these and you can now export to uh, multiple formats and multiple locations simultaneously. So this is really useful for example, say you uh, typically export like a, a full res version to your portfolio or to your library. And then you also do like a, a scaled down version either for your website or for posting to social media. And rather than having to do that separately, you can now do this all in one go. So um, it's a very useful feature. Um, it's actually something that's been in Capture One for a long time. And it's good to see the that Lightroom is now getting this feature as well. So the other thing is that you can now filter by color label in the folders and uh, collections panel. So if you see here on the folder panel where the search bar is, if you click on the little uh, magnifying glass, you now have color labels. So you can now filter by color label. So say for example, you have some uh, folders that you labeled with a red color label like I have here. You can see they're all coming up um, and then to clear it, you just go back in here and go show all. And then this also works for collections. So again, here I have some collections and if I click on the magnifying glass in the search bar, go into color labels and then say in this example, I have yellow ones uh, and you can see all your um, collections that have a, a yellow color label. And again, just to clear that, you just go back to all. So another thing they added is they've added some more features to the GPU acceleration. So if you have a post crop vignette on your image um, and you adjust the crop, you now get to see the uh, crop preview with the post crop vignette applied. So here I have a fairly heavy post crop vignette on this image. And if I adjust the crop, you can see it's previewing the vignette as I adjust the crop. So another feature they added is the ability to clear history above a certain point in your history. If you want to do it, say you go to a certain step in your history, you right click on it and go clear history above this step and clear history above this step and it will clear history back to that step. And kind of, you can start from there. Uh, I don't quite get the point of this because you could, if you just come back to a step in your history, as soon as you make a change, it will continue from there anyway. But I guess it's useful if you want to go back and you're not planning to do any more editing to your image and you just want to clear out the history, that's kind of, that's one way to do it. So one last thing, and this is actually super useful as well, is you can now export groups of presets in one go. So previously, if you say you've been creating your own preset kit and um, you wanted to export all of them, you would have to either export them one at a time, which is quite tedious, uh, or go to the Finder or Windows Explorer and find the presets uh, files. And that's how you would export them if you wanted to move them to another computer or 
you know, put them on your website or whatever. So you can now export a whole group in one go. So you just literally go to your presets, right click on it and go export group. And this now lets you export your presets as a single group. Um, for somebody who creates presets like myself, this is really useful. And uh, it also makes it easy if you if you have a lot of presets and you want to back them up or whatever else. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of it on the kind of main features. Um, there's obviously there's a bunch of stuff under the hood. Uh, they've changed the library format slightly. So when you uh, upgrade to classic version 9 you will have to upgrade your existing library um, I'm not sure what exactly they did under the hood there but um, apparently there are some changes and there's the usual round of bug fixes and uh, new camera support and also all the other apps in the Light Lightroom ecosystem have also been updated so Lightroom desktop is now at version 3 and Lightroom mobile is now at version 5 and there's been a few enhancements to those as well and that's pretty much it for this video. And if you want to learn more, I have some more details on my blog and I'll have a link to the blog post in the description below. And thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.